universities showing exactly what they learn every week on the game called College Mad America's top universities and colleges compete in a battle of brains and the brawn, featuring some fairly outrageous stunts. I think you'll agree. Also, some very challenging questions. At the end of the game, winning team gets to run through our college madhouse, featured right back here, win some prizes for themselves, as well as some scholarship money for their schools. And right now, to introduce today's teams, here is Bo Weaver. First, direct from Urbana, Champaign, Illinois, here comes the team from the University of Illinois, Code Illinois. Hello there, my name is Michael Novak, and I'm a sophomore at the University of Illinois. I'm a mechanical engineer, and today I'm going to be my team's captain. Hello, my name is Kirsten Stewart, and I'm a junior in marketing. Hello, my name is Toya Weaver, and I'm a junior double majoring in Spanish and marketing from Country Club Hills, Illinois. Go Illini! Hello, my name is Brian L. Hunt. I'm a sophomore in electrical engineering at the University of Illinois. Hi, Sean. Hi, Mom. Hi, IBT. <laughs> University of Illinois from Iowa City, Iowa. Here comes the team from the University of Iowa, you Hawkeyes. Hi, I'm Michael Bauer. I'm from the University of Iowa. I'm the captain today. I'm a sophomore majoring in sociology. Hi, I'm Matthew Brack. I'm a senior, senior majoring in accounting. Hi, my name is Marty Kimball. I'm a junior. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering. Hi, my name is Dana Hansen. I'm a senior and I'm majoring in exercise physiology. Don Wilson and Richard McGregor. <laughs> Very happy to be here today, obviously. In this first part of the game, our teams earn points by competing in some pretty tough stunts, rather interesting questions. We're going to get started right now. Let's get started with two players right over here. <laughs> Well, girls, we're going to let you get in the shape that you have always, always dreamed of. And uh, believe it or not, the guys are going to do all the work for you. It's simple enough. Go ahead and take your shirts off there. Uh, we got you wearing our very own college madhouse superhero outfits. Obviously, any good superhero has a bulging body, so the idea of this next stunt is for the guys to take these balloons when I say go and start stuffing them into your uniforms. All through the arms, chest, anything you can, stick them in there. We've got the balloons covered with uh, whipped cream, as you can see here. Girl with the most unbroken balloons in her suit at the end of 30 seconds picks up 25 points. Sound good? Yeah. You all set? Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I don't think you're, you know what you're in for here. Let's set the clock, please. And go! <laughs> done this guy great job so this is the uh, counting time and this is how we do it if you could first of all just give us a photo op for the camera there yeah <laughs> Woo, okay let's get started here we have one two three four seven eight nine ten eleven twelve they are still coming 13 14 That's it. 21 for the University of Iowa. And over here, bulging from the seams, thank you, is the University of Illinois with one. I knew that was going to be a mistake. Two, three, four. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and that's it for Illinois. That means Iowa. You win the stunt. Let's go give them the point. 
Yeah, I just got into the wrong business. I don't know how it happened. Uh, Iowa, you pick up 25 points there. Nicely done by your teammates, don't you think? Uh, so Iowa, 25, Illinois, you're dragging behind here, but you have a chance to tie it up right here with this question. Your teammates made super superheroes there. Which of these following superheroes never had any superhuman abilities? Superman, Batman, or Spider-Man? Yeah, Illinois. Batman. That's right for 25. For your little... Tying it up right now at 25-25, Iowa and Illinois. It is anybody's game. After this particular break, we're going to be back with a lot more fun and a lot more... No, I didn't think so. But that is exactly what our players are about to do. Illinois, you're going to catch these uh, rainbow trout that will be in the pool. And Iowa, you're going to be going for these kingfish right here. University of Illinois is in blue. University of Iowa, of course, is in the yellow. When I say go, captains are going to take a fish from their bucket, pass it to your second teammate, just like that. Second teammate will pass it to the third, third to the fourth, and fourth into the... Bucket. The team with the most fish in their bucket after 45 seconds picks up 25 points. We've added a little twist on here, though. you got to do it blind. So if you would, please put the goggles down and set the clock, please. Let's go! University of Illinois, you guys did a great job. You're welcome to hop out of the pool and join us up here. We've got, and I don't want to throw these on you, one, two, two three, four. Over here for Iowa, there is one and two. That means Illinois wins the start. You guys have 25 points. Team captains, we need you down on deck. won that start. You pick up 25 points. It's now Illinois with 50. Iowa, 25. You could tie it up right here, though. This is for 25. Those fish that you just finished passing were pretty run-of-the-mill, I suppose. But for what company is an exceptionally tasteful tuna named Charlie? Yes. Charlie. I'm sorry. That's incorrect, Iowa. So we're going to give you a chance here, Illinois. I'll repeat the question. Those fish that you just finished passing were pretty run-of-the-mill. But for what company is an exceptionally tasteful tuna named Charlie? The spokesfish, sun-kissed, Starkist or Polo? I'd have to say Starkist. And you'd have to be right for 25 points. 75 Iowa right now. And let's go meet your teammates for the next stop. As you can see in front of you, we have a little bin. This is filled with mud. Here's what we're going to do. Each team's going to grab an end of this rope that's lying down here. When I say go, you're going to try and drag your opponents into the mud. Simple enough, right? First team to pull their opponents through the mud wins the stunt. So if you could set up on either side and grab the rope. Everybody set. Let's go! Could team captains could step over here for the next question. <laughs> team captains right over here. Wait. Illinois, what happened to you guys in there? Just broke down. Just broke down. Well, these guys are tough, I'm telling you. And again, that was 
fair because you're both 485 as far as team weights. We go to our next question. Catch your breaths there, guys. As war goes, that one was relatively brief, I suppose. Which of these major wars was fought the longest? Yes, Illinois. Oh, I'd have to say World War I. Time, we're going to have to go ahead and give you the answers, Iowa. World War I, World War II, or the Vietnam War? Vietnam War. That's right for 25 points. Iowa grabs another 25. 75 Iowa, 75 Illinois. And that's the end of the stunt round. That means it's time for our college madhouse finals. Obviously, if it's anybody's game, so get ready to rock back here in just a moment. Nice job. This is it, today's College Madhouse Finals. Minute and 30 seconds of lightning action and some pretty challenging questions. At stake a crack at all the cash and prizes right back here in the College Madhouse. Here's how it works. Our teams are going to line up facing each other. As a matter of fact, could we do that right now? First players in line. Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to race to hit your signal. Come up with the right answer. You pick up 25 points. Plus, you get the opportunity to nail your opponent with a penalty. In this particular case, it looks like a chocolate pie of sorts there. Then when I say next, you guys are going to go to the back of the line. The next two are going to step in and take your place. We'll keep on like that for a minute and 30 seconds. Then we're going to check the score and see who is going to the madhouse today. The category today is the job market, jobs around the world. We will go ahead and set the clock. And here we go. The seismologist's life can be shaky and unstable. On what subject are... Illinois. Geology. No. On what subject are seismologists experts? Earthquake. Yes! Nail him into the back of the line. <laughs> Stephen Jobs created many jobs as the founder of what successful home computer company? Iowa. A Apple. That's right. Nail him into the back of the line for 25. In what country would you be if you wore blue and worked as a bobby? The back of the line, we were looking for England there. If your job paid you in rubles, what nation would you be working in? Back of the line, we're looking for Russia there. If you spend your day sitting behind the controls of an L-1011, what are you? Iowa. Yes, nail him into the back of the line. What is the more common name for a meteorologist? Iowa. Yeah, nail her into the back of the line for 25. You might have a job steering gondolas through the world's famous canals of what northern Illinois? Yes. For 25, if you are in the same profession as A.J. Foyt, Mario Andretti, Iowa. Yes, nail her into the back of the line for 25. If you graduated from a school of podiatry, what part of the body? Yes, Illinois. Beach. Yes, nail her into the back of the line. If you are a curator at the Smithsonian Institute, in what city do you work? Iowa. Yes. 25 points as a firefighter. What breed of dog would be Illinois? Yes, for 25. In what field of expertise would you uncover ancient ruins? That's going to do it. Illinois 150, Iowa 225. You're going to the Yes, you guys played a great game. Really, you did. We got uh, that scholarship, $500 for it that we talked about. Also, some nice prizes for you. Bo's going to tell you about right now. Bo? All contestants receive British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK. British Knights athletic footwear for guys, gals, and kids, too. British Knights, the right move for you. And from a leading name in sportswear comes a whole new collection of sportswear for men. Katano menswear for you or the man in your life. Iowa? Yeah! These guys are going to the college now. As a matter of fact, we're going to ask the audience to come on down right now and catch the action. We'll see you in just a moment. Yeah! Enter the college madhouse through our campus quad. Take a splash in our hot tub heaven. Grab the cash tag and head on up to the top of the bunny slope on Ski Mountain, where you'll find Emerson's bookshelf, AM, FM, stereo system with dual cassettes, turntable, graphic equalizer, and full-range speakers. A fine product furnished by Emerson. Plus, Rokina International's pro-style camera kit with Rokin on 35mm focus free camera case, album, tripod, care kit, and gadget bag furnished by Rokina International. Or you could crawl through our shrinking hallway to the campus sapateria, where one of your opponents will give you a $100 cash tag plus a shot of whipped cream. Then all the way up to the campus laundromat, where inside this crazy washing machine, you'll find outdoor products, rugged and tough, lightweight sport luggage featuring the nylon double ski bag and boot bag furnished by outdoor products. 
again from Sebastian on his or her shopping spree from their gift center catalog featuring a selection of grooming beauty and bath essentials. The image of fashion furnished by Sebastian. Or you could grab a cash tag in the showers where only one of these seven doors will open. Next, upstairs to check out your roommate from hell who's hidden a prize tag for Wellington's Taper Flex Orion Combo Ski and Vital Vest. Combines performance and durability, graphic design and coordinated colors. Fun and fashion furnished by Wellington Puritan Marine. And Excel's Impulse Exercise Cycle. Contemporary construction techniques, high style graphics and electronic instrumentation to monitor workout progress furnished by Excel. All these prizes for you, plus $1,000 in cash for your college scholarship fund, all in today's Madhouse. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. When I say go, you're going to rip into the Madhouse, grab all the cash and prize tags you can. But when you hear this lovely sound after 30 seconds, you'll know to stop. Because now, player two, you have 30 seconds to go in and capture all the prize tags you can. And we're going to keep on like that till all four of you have had your 30 seconds in the madhouse. Listen, if you clean house, that means capturing all 13 tags. We're going to send you on a pretty terrific vacation. Tell them about it. You'll be going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We'll be flying you to Fiesta Americana, Puerto Vallarta, overlooking beautiful Banderas Bay, deluxe accommodations, continental and traditional cuisine, water sports, or just relaxation in the sun. Furnished by Fiesta Americana, Puerto Vallarta. Back to you, Greg. Thanks, Bo. And right now, without further ado, let's get in position right up here. Now, because there are 13 tags in the house, we're going to go ahead and set our tag counter at 13, please. Thank you very much. The clock now at 30 seconds. You all set here, Betsy? Oh, yeah. You going to do it? Uh-huh. One, one for the Hawkeyes? Oh, yeah. Go! Let's go! of Penn State battle it out with the Pitt Panthers. Go, 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 go. And you're not going to believe the wrestling match this rivalry turns into. In fact, a couple of co-eds will definitely eat it. Then, of course, there's the underwater action. Definitely wild. Pitt and Penn State on TV's wildest show, College Madhouse. and punished by the Beverly Garland Hotel.
College Madhouse is a Stone Television production in association with Lorimar Television.